I was just wondering if there was a lot of conflict maybe going on between the pharmaceutical industry and all the research that's going on for the nutritional products, because I know we have to be very careful about what we say. This can, you know, improve people's health. And then I'm just worried about the ph pharmaceutical company. What are they... Well, How do they feel about all this nutritional I, research? I can, I'll tell you a little story about the pharmaceutical company, okay? The pharmaceutical companies and the products they produce kill more people every year than nutrition has killed for the last 10,000 years, okay? Okay, because pharmaceuticals, as important as they are, pharmaceuticals are things that always come with undesirable secondary reactions or, you know, things like that. So. Um, the pharmaceutical industry would not want us to end a trend because you notice the trend line matches their stock value line. Okay? Um, so they don't want us to end a trend. They don't want the market to go away. Reality check is it still wouldn't go away. But, you know, they have a whole different perspective. And frankly, you know, I don't worry about the pharmaceutical industry. Okay? They're, they're not important in the thing. The worst thing about the pharmaceutical industry is the revolving door between them and members of the Food and Drug Administration back there in Washington, D.C. The pharmaceutical lobbyists become the food and drug directors who become the pharmaceutical lobbyists, right? That sort of inbreeding of that mentality does none of us any good. That's part of the swamp, right? And that's not a good thing. So, but the pharmaceutical industry has got plenty on their plate in the sense of what they're doing, they don't really care about nutrition. That's not their deal. Okay, though some pharmaceutical companies will dabble in the nutritional business, it's not really their, their deal. I see them as the mafia. Are they big, pharma, big pharma is a problem, yes. Big pharma is a problem. The fact that you can go across the border into Canada and buy the same drug for a lot less money and their excuse is, well, it's expensive to, to develop and research these drugs. Yeah. It's cheaper in Canada? Is that what you're telling me? No. It's just the Canadian government doesn't allow them to do that. So, yeah. Don't worry about the pharmaceutical industry. But Big Pharmacy also them. sends lots of representatives out to the doctors yes. with lots of free samples that they give away, and they become the promoters in telling you what to take. It's an interesting system. 